Number one, and if you're a big fan of DC Cinematic Universe or, the, or fans of the DC characters in general, you are going to love this news that um, that Danny Elfman is now the opposer, the music opposer for Justice League. And it's big news due to the fact that originally Junkie, Junkie Gets Hell, who did uh, Batman v Superman, yeah, and it has decided to step down and focus on Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider film. And and for me, having Danny Elfman doing a Justice League is probably a really good pick because think about it, he is able to do really iconic themes. You know, he did the original Spider-Man theme, which I think is a, a really underrated theme. For it, really, I think it's a really well done theme. Uh, he did uh, the first Ang Lee Hulk. He did Age of Ultron, and and no doubt, Lee, we have to mention this. It's, just, it's kind of weird just the fact that this character is in Justice League. He did the t first two Batman films. He did the Tim Burton Batman films, and um, this is going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting because you just you just curious, like, what the Batman music is going to sound like? Is it going to sound really yeah, like? Throwbacky, like are we go like ah oh, I remember this music it was lovely yay or or are we going to have a little a, a new piece of Batman music which uh, g goes in more of what we heard in like BBS and uh, Suicide Squad so yeah I'm really um, I'm really happy over this news. Um, yeah, you know, he's just really think about it. Danny Elfman is kind of the superhero music composer, if you really think about it. Um, I was film sort of list off outside of um, uh, John Williams' Superman theme. But yeah, I'm happy over this news. Everyone, please tell me uh, tell me your thoughts about uh, Danny Elfman now being the opposer, music composer for Justice League.